Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. In the West Kingston Commission of Inquiry, 40-year-old construction worker Maurice Tomlinson this morning recounted how he was severely beaten and threatened with death by members of the security forces. Tomlinson also testified that he did not receive adequate medical attention while in police custody. And attorney at law Miguel Lawrence says Tivoli Committee convener Lloyd Yagler is a man obsessed with the media spotlight whose actions at the inquiry were a camouflage for his inadequacy at the proceedings. Diagla was expelled from the commission on Tuesday after getting into multiple arguments with the commission chairman and attorneys. St. Elizabeth phone technician 32-year-old Kurt Taylor is to be sentenced on Friday on lottery scamming charges. Taylor was yesterday found guilty when he appeared before the St. Elizabeth Circuit Court. Energy Minister Philip Powell has been granted leave to be a party in the court action brought by the OUR against the Office of the Contractor General. The OUR wants the Judicial Review Court to quash the OCG's report into the 360-megawatt project. In sports, Jamaica's Aaliyah Atkinson has shattered her national record to win the silver medal in the women's 50-meter breaststroke final at the 2014 FINA World Short Course Swimming Championships in Doha. She clocked 28.91 seconds to improve on her previous national record of 28.94 seconds. In your weather forecast, on Friday morning, expect isolated showers across northeastern parishes. In the afternoon, expect scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms across sections of most parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.